Hi, this is Tyler Bauman with Second Swing Golf. We're extremely fortunate today to be at Titleist talking with Jeremy Stone about the SM6 wedges and the story behind the creation of these wedges. Jeremy, Bob Vokey is synonymous with being the best wedge maker in the world and he's come out with an amazing product in the SM6. Tell us the backstory behind that SM6. Absolutely. So uh, thanks for spending some time with us. We always love getting to talk about what Bob is able to craft. Um, the really key story with SM6 is progressive center of gravity. So when you think about where we were with SM5 wedges, um, they all had a very similar shape on the back of the wedge. And what we learned through testing is that in the low lofted wedges, gap fitting wasn't quite right when you flowed from a set of irons into the wedges. And we found out that that was related to the center of gravity position within the wedge. So Bob and his team went to work. They started testing things like crazy and they found that in the low lofted wedges, 46 through 52, that a lower center of gravity positioning created more ball speed, which closed the distance gap and actually solved the distance gap issues with a set of irons. Um, but then we found that progressing through the set and getting a CG that was progressively higher as loft increases gave us better ball flight and trajectory control throughout the whole set. So all the way to the top where you start getting to a 58 or a 60 degree wedge, you see some unique shaping here. We're moving the weight higher on this wedge and by increasing the center of gravity location, golfers with their lob wedges and their sand wedges are gonna get better trajectory control there as well. And so more consistent performance throughout the entire line, or not line, but the set of the wedges all the way through. That's exactly right. So the low lofts have a lower CG. Yep. It gets progressively higher as loft increases. And what that gives a player is it gives you better trajectory control. It gives you more consistent distance control. And throughout the set, because the CG is now aligned with the golf ball impact position, you're going to get better feel throughout the whole set as well. And one of the things that Titleist as a whole is synonymous with as well is fitting. And there's so many different grind options, bounce options, uh, within the SM6, uh, making it imperative to get fit. Maybe tell us a little bit about what the grinds are doing, what type of player might be best suited for a certain type of grind, and what the whole theory is behind having all of those available. It's a great question, and I think it's one of the most misunderstood pieces. We actually know from our research that the wedge is the least fit full swing club in the bag. Hmm. And, well, we're biased, but we actually think it should be the most fit because golfers are going to spend more time hitting wedges than any other club. The grinds, we have five of them in the SM6 line, they really come from Bob's work with tour players. I'm holding an S grind here, it's the 5810S. Uh, this comes from Steve Stricker, working with Bob. He couldn't get the ball flight he needed from the traditional F grind, so Bob shaved a little ribbon off the back. He grinded the wedge to create a ribbon. It narrowed the bounce surface, creating a little bit less effective bounce. All of that really means it was easier for Steve to slide the golf ball, the golf club underneath the golf ball and get the trajectory he needed. That's fitting and that's a grind. Now, the good news is Bob's made a bunch of these for us. So what we all get to do as golfers is find a fitting partner, go to second swing and have an opportunity to hit each grind side by side. Because if you're shallow into the golf ball or steep into the golf ball, you may want low bounce or high bounce respectively, and a fitter is really gonna help you be able to figure that out. But you, the golfer, you're gonna be able to feel that difference when you hit them side by side. Well, and that's the most important thing, right? Is one, it's getting fit, but that there's so many options that really cater to the entire gamut of golfers that are out there. There's going to be a grind that is gonna be right for you in your game, which is, which is ultimately what us as golfers, as amateur weekend hacks, you know, really want out of a club. So that's so cool that Titleist does that. The other thing that I find really interesting with Titleist, and they've done this for a long time, is they've got different finishes on the wedges. There's three of them with the, the SM6. Tell us a little bit about the finishes and what really um, you're trying to accomplish by having those different options available. Absolutely. So um, it's important to note that when you go through the fitting process, you need to find the right loft bounce and grind for your game. You need to get gap fit and then bounce fit because that's going to really help you. Think of a grind as forgiveness in the wedge. When you go through all that and you've got the right loft bounce and grind for your game, really the fun part becomes what can I do to that wedge now? And that's where finishes come in. They are purely a preference choice. Um, we know that uh, a lot of golfers like to look down at Tor Chrome. It's a very traditional finish. It's a bright chrome plated finish on the wedge. 
and it gives it a very traditional look, um, just like you see out on tour, and it's a very popular finish, the most popular in our lineup. We also know some folks don't really like a highly polished finish. They don't like some sunlight glare, and that's really where steel gray and jet black come into play. Steel gray is a black nickel plated finish wedge, um, and it really provides kind of an in-between. If you don't want to go all the way to a jet black finish, um, but you don't want the glare of Torchrome, Steel Gray is a fantastic option. And then the final finish, Jet Black, as I mentioned and as the name implies, it is as dark a finish as we can create. It is officially a raw wedge because it is not plated. Um, so over time, that Jet Black wedge with, with usage and wear, you could see some rust over a period of time. Uh, but that's for the golfer who loves looking down at that um, jet black finish. We even have a couple of those on tour. Guys like Jimmy Walker just love the look of that finish. And they've just said to our tour rep, Aaron Dill, hey, can I put the jet black finish into play? I love that look. Um, and so really that becomes player preference. Find a shop, go look at them all, figure out what you like to look at. And that's the beauty of these finishes because from a performance standpoint, they're all going to work. You just got to love what you look at. You know, what you're hearing from Titleist and most specifically on these SM6 wedges is there are so many options available that it is imperative to get fit. You've got a lot of loss to look at from a gapping perspective. You've got all the grinds to look at to ensure that you're getting the right turf interaction. You've got the finishes to look at to find which one that suits your eye. You know, stop into Second Swing Golf, work with one of our master fitters to find those right SM6 wedges for you.